Over here. <sighs> Dr. Wilson, I want you to meet my stalker. Your waiting room sucks. I am not treating you. But because you're a closet case? We're not uh, together. He is so self-loathing. Well, we've got to go now, so maybe see no. you after work. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, nobody can figure out what's wrong with me. Well, your shirt is gaping in the collar. It means you lost weight, you're flushed, that's fever, and you're short of breath. And finally, there's the KS lesion on your face. It means you're HIV positive, you've progressed to full-blown AIDS. So you're sick because your immune system is shot and someone sneezed on you. And I'm excused now. Brilliant, but my immune system He's fine. Your concentration camp physique begs to differ. Get your T-cell count rechecked. I've already done that. They test for T-cell lymphoma? It was negative. Well, all of this will be fascinating to an HIV specialist. Now let go of my cane before it becomes your new boyfriend. Honey, I will marry it if you look at my file. Congress says you can't, so... <clears throat> <clears throat> I didn't touch him. He's going into anaphylactic shock. Your talk screen came back positive for... Crystal meth and ecstasy. Recreational drugs are dangerous to begin with, but for someone with HIV... I didn't mistake them for vitamins. I'm a PNB boy. Party and play. Drugs and sex. <coughs> <coughs> You don't approve. Does the sex include condoms? If he's negative, sure. If he's positive, why put on a raincoat if you're already wet? You could get hepatitis or another strain of HIV. Or I could get hit by a bus. AIDS isn't a death sentence anymore. I don't want to have any regrets. <coughs> How long have you been coughing? So. <coughs> Try to take a deep breath. <coughs> what is it? I think it's blood. <coughs> Very interesting. He coughs infected blood in Cameron's eyes and mouth. That's interesting. The coughing part, not the in-Cameron part. New symptom, blood vessel ruptured in his lung. I closed the tear. Well, it takes immune reconstitution off the table. What's it put on the table? It's okay, she's not here. You can skip the nice guy acts. You know, some human beings are actually capable of human feelings. My giving a damn or not is not gonna change what happened. Could be Kuposter syndrome. No edema, no bloody urine. Well, chaos on his face could mean chaos in his lungs with bleeding from the lesions. I would have seen them when I repaired the tear in his lung. Wegener's granulomatosis? Wegener's would have responded to steroids. Maybe you should go home, take the rest of the day. I'm fine. Well, this is good. He's pretending to care. You're pretending not to. I think we should reconsider drugs. Calvin uses crystal meth. Concerned enough about his health to stalk me while indulging in deadly street drugs. Study in contradictions. Interesting, but still not medically relevant. It could be, if his drugs were tainted. They cook meth with battery acid, lye, lantern fuel. Find Calvin's pills, test for toxins. Chest hurts. A race 100 in time, it could be an allergic reaction. Neck veins are up. Must be pericardial effusion. No wheezing. And his lungs must have reopened. Calvin, you're bleeding into the area around your heart. I'm dying. I can't breathe. The blood's crushing your heart. Once we remove it, you'll be fine. If I die, please tell my dad. You're not going to die. Tell him sorry. A tumor in his heart. Why is he here? 
He wanted to talk to you. Uh-huh. Did you two used to hunt together? Foxes. Did you kill foxes? It's Montana. Those masses in your chest are not tumors. They're parasitic cysts from a bug called echinococcosis. Touch a dead fox, they jump aboard, they can hunker down for decades. Growing, spawning, shopping, putting on plays. I've been tested for parasites. OK, it's cancer. You happy? The cysts isolate the parasites, keeping them from showing up in stool samples, even in blood tests, cardiac events. Uh, you don't need me for this. But you've got the same things in your liver. I have cirrhosis. Liver cysts have identical symptoms, with one addition, fever. And liver cysts we can test for. Your diagnosis could confirm Calvin's. So, option A, we draw some blood. No, no, look, you're not touching me. Hey, you see, this is why I need you here. I want you to tell your son that you won't take a simple, painless blood test to save his life. You, uh, never expressed a shred of regret for what happened to your mother? Jeez, oh, If you'd have worn a damn rubber, you'd have been fine. You could have saved her life. You wouldn't be lying here. Yeah, 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 I get it. You're really mad at him for killing himself and for destroying everything you love. I don't have time for this. Are you going to apologize? I'm living my life the way I want. Are you going to give me some blood? Look, if he doesn't give a damn, then neither do I. OK, option B. Why did your wife kill herself? Did she hate you? She was a diabetic. You know, you don't know a thing about my Susan. Either Susan wanted to die, or she was both fat and stupid. Used a Twinkie instead of a gun. And girls with big appetites, well, they just can't get enough of anything. Shut up. Probably nibbled on every devil dog in the county. Shut up! In case I'm not making myself clear, I don't mean the delicious snack. You son of a bitch! Ah! Yeah? Come on! Thank you. That means I can do this. We're gonna need some Epi in here, stat. Are you out of your mind? You said you didn't care. Notice how you can't breathe? Now, either that's the cane, or I just ruptured one of those liver cysts we were chatting about. And you've gone into anaphylactic shock, exactly the same way your son did when he accidentally tripped against my friend's car. And I'm just so excited to find out which. <laughs> Scheduled surgery. I'm sorry. Yesterday I got lost in the surf.